Hey, this is Robert Monroe, and I wanted to make a quick video on music theory, and particularly, this is going to be a little strange because I'm kind of a big music theory nerd, but I wanted to make a video about how people use music theory as basically this big bully stick to tell people that what they think is right and the way you do it is wrong and that really irritates me so this video is actually about why music theory is not that important and if you don't care about music theory just keep not caring about it and keep doing what you do with music because chances are you're doing good things now before we begin go ahead and subscribe and like this video because I love to continue talking about things like this because this is the type of stuff that we deal with all the time as musicians at any skill level. People telling us, oh, you have to know this or that to be successful in music. It's not true. All you have to do to be successful with performing music is have a passion for it, practice, practice your craft daily, and listen. That's it. Now, let me do a little bit of background. I come from a super snobby music theory background. I was trained classically at a young age. I went to school for music, so I have the academic background. I've learned jazz, I've learned classical, I've also learned Latin, pop, all these different styles, and generally I've learned it from a very academic, book knowledge sort of point of view. The thing is though, I play primarily in the pop and rock world. And that world is dominated by people who do not have book knowledge. They just learned it by playing the music and listening to it. And I think their fundamental intuitive grasp of what is happening is actually superior to my book knowledge approach. Let me get into why I think that's the case. So first of all, music theory was created after the fact. Music theory is not something that people do when they're writing music, for the most part. I know there's exceptions. Everybody's going to list in the comments an exception to this. But what I'm talking about is when Charlie Parker was raging on the saxophone and doing all that stuff, he wasn't necessarily thinking bebop scales or any of that nonsense. What he was thinking about is sounding good. When Chopin was writing all of his pieces, he writing those beautiful nocturnes and all of that, again, he wasn't thinking about, well, I played this chord, so now I need to play this chord, and I did this melody note, so now I need to go up. Yes, I'm sure he had different tricks and tips, but primarily he was considering what sounded good at the time and what he could do to further his own sound. Further on, all the way to pop music, Yes, there are certain producers that know tips and tricks. I'm not saying knowledge is bad. What I'm saying is they're fundamentally using their ears to tell them what sounds good. That is the final guide. You actually find all the time that there are these moments in music that isolated sound really bad and break all the rules, but you put it in the whole picture, in the whole flow of the piece, and it sounds really good. Why is that the case? Well, because... Music theory is a tool for after the fact. If you think about it, music theory, especially from an academic standpoint, is kind of like a visit to the morgue, not to get all weird about it right away, or um, think about it as a CSI investigator. So the crime has already happened. We got a body on the floor and we're going, how did this happen? And so what we end up doing is we go in and we analyze a piece after it's fully developed and we can go through and look at every little part of it and analyze the form, the harmony, the melody, all of these textural things as well, all of these little details and hopefully come up with a concept of how we think this piece came to be. First reason why music theory is not that important for performance and for an active musician is it is for after the fact, not before. Music theory can be helpful, and I might talk about that in future videos when learning music, but for the most part, it's actually to understand what has happened, not to help you play what you're going to play. So let's talk about the second reason music theory is not that important. And that is 
When we look at music theory, we're primarily thinking about academic music theory, classical music theory. We might be thinking about jazz music theory. Wait a second. We just mentioned two music theories. There are so many different ways to look at music. Why is that the case? Because there are tons of different styles of music and tons of different expressive modes for music. Now, I will say, I personally come from a music has objective realities to that. What I mean by that is there are fundamental underpinnings that are just true of the math of music that means that music will work in a certain way throughout all cultural contexts. But the cultural layer of music is so important that that really objective layer is completely hidden to the point that really you're way better off trying to understand the culture and the mentality and the attitude around the music you're playing versus trying to get to some universal music theory of music. With that being said, music theory is really just tools. So if you like the tool, use the tool. If you don't like the tool, get another tool. There's nothing wrong with that. So for example, major scales and scale degrees. I play with a lot of gospel musicians. They use the Nashville number system. If you want me to talk about that, I can talk about that in a different video. But here's the thing. That's very useful. But if you don't like using it, just come up with something else. If you can play, I don't care how you think about it. That's really what I'm getting at. And that's really how everyone should be. The final thing that I want to bring up is music really is a language. So if we think about music as a language, then music theory is really kind of like grammar. Now, grammar has its uses. Grammar is very valuable when you're writing a book. So like if you're writing music, you should really study music theory. But when you are reading, when you're communicating, when you're talking, I can tell you right now, grammar is really useful, but nowhere near as useful as just being able to communicate. How do you learn to communicate? You just practice it. All you do is you talk to people. You interact. The more you do it, the better you'll get. Now, why am I making this video? It's because I have run into multiple situations in life, in person, or on the internet, where there's almost this snobbery that comes with music theory knowledge. And I will admit, I felt it occasionally where you're sitting around and you hear somebody describe a scale and they use the wrong inharmonic spelling. So like they mix flats and sharps. And that can kind of get a little bit irritating. You might hear a chord described in the wrong nomenclature and it might just go, ooh, you know, maybe that person doesn't really know what they're talking about. This is such crap. The thing is, if somebody can play and they've spent the time to understand what they're doing on their instrument, who cares how they think about it in their head? It doesn't really matter. The big thing that matters is what's coming out. And again, this is why I said music is a language. I don't need to know what's going on in your head to understand what you're saying to me. All I need to do is hear the words. If I can't understand what you're saying to me, unless I know what's going on in your head, that means that somebody is doing a bad job communicating. What is the wrap up of all of this? I guess what I'm saying is learn, educate yourself, grow as a musician, but if somebody is using music theory as this big stick to beat you over the head and say you're not good at music, you don't know what you're doing, go ahead and just take a step back and go, hmm, I think I can play music. I have every right to play music just like everybody else. And you know what? It sounds good to me. And people enjoy the music I'm playing. So no, I don't have to care. No. I'm just gonna do my own thing. If you enjoyed this type of video, go ahead and like and comment. See if you agree with my opinion. Do you think music theory is not as important as everybody's making out to be? Or do you think that music theory is super important 
and everyone should study it and there's one specific method that is correct. I'd love to hear what you think. Go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be making a lot more content like this as well as videos where I'm playing. And I just love interacting about this. This is something I'm really passionate about because it is just irritating when people use their knowledge just to be a bully. So hope you've enjoyed this and I will catch you next time. Thanks.